Hello everybody, my name is Charlotte Macy. Some of you will know me better than others will, so I'm going to start by telling you a bit about myself. I may not have been at Hollywood for as long as some of the other students, however I feel in the year that I've been here, I've learned so many new skills, became more confident, involved myself in many activities and events around the school, but also improved my grades. Outside school, I surf and I snowboard in a GB team, which has allowed me in so many ways to become more confident and taught me to put all my effort and commitment in to get the best out. Also, being in cadets has had a huge role in this too. I believe being head girl means being an outstanding leader. I understand that not every student enjoys school. I've been there and it's not easy. You don't see the purpose, you lose motivation, but you mustn't. And as head girl, I will explore this more. I will also try my best to turn your request into reality whether it be trips, activities, improvements to the school and its environment, or even smaller things like being able to talk to somebody or getting help or advice. I know what I said today might not apply to all of you, but I hope you can see how I can make improvements in the future, ever onward and upward. Hi, I'm Rudy. I'm applying for head boy at Hollywood because I want to be opportunity, opportunity to help and support younger students. I want to work to prevent bullying and feel I will understand to students who may have challenging behaviour or additional needs. I'm bubbly and I have a great sense of humour. I also got some great ideas. I play golf when I'm outside of school. I love golf. Um, I do that most weeks. I feel like I'll be great for the role because, as I said in the previous uh, speech, because I'm bubbly. Thank you for listening. Hello to all the students and teachers of Hollywood School, wherever you are. My name is Freya Hill and you may have seen me at school at various times. Out of school, I enjoy dancing, performing and athletics. And I've decided to run Pair Girl as I feel I can make a difference to those who, like me, may not always be the loudest or most confident or just want their voice to be heard. In these difficult times, the importance of community and school working together has become more noticeable. And when we eventually get back to school, the position will have an even more crucial role than previously. If you vote for me, I'll be the one you can turn to for help, guidance and support alongside the school, as I've been here for the past four years. This may not be as long a time as some, however, I've immersed myself in all aspects of school, including physics competitions, sporting events and the Duke of Edinburgh Award, which I feel has brought me out of my shell and will benefit any and all who take part in it. I plan to continue the work that Lily and Zara have begun this year and help move the school forward through the next 12 months. I aim to be a role model for all pupils. I look forward to playing a central role in formal events such as prize giving and wherever needed. I would like to create a student guide with tips and tricks from pupils' point of view that help support you in your school life. Year 11 will be an important year for me and if elected as head girl I promise that I will do my utmost to help whoever needs my support throughout their next year at Hollywood. Thank you and vote for me. Hi, I'm Daisy, and I've only got two minutes to try and persuade you all to pick me for your head girl, so I'm going to talk quite fast. When I first started Holly Girl, I was a small, awkward year five, but here I am, six years later, running for head girl. I've come so far from that nine-year-old to be talking to you now, and I want to give a little back to the school that helped me get here. I understand what being a head girl truly means, and I'm ready to take on the challenge and live up to the responsibility. Thanks to our lovely school, here I am with enough confidence to tell you why I should become your next head girl. I'm not gonna make empty promises and say, oh yeah, if you vote for me, I'm gonna change your uniform color because let's face it, Mr. Dean will never let that happen. But I can tell you that if you ever needed to talk to someone or you were having a problem with something, I would always be there to help you and let you know you'll be okay. I don't think of the title head girl as a social standing or a popularity contest, saying you're top of the school or thinking you're more important than everyone else. I think of it as a responsibility which helps you to help others. It gives you an extra push to be a good role model for younger students and to make the most of your last year of school. I want to gain the trust of each and every one of you and to show you all what I'm made of. I'm a friendly and loyal person, so if you think I've earned your vote, please do vote for me. J.M. Barry, who wrote Peter Pan, once said, The secret of happiness is not in doing what one likes, but in liking what one does. And I really do agree. I think I could help you all find the best in this situation even when it might seem difficult, and I would encourage you to give new things a go, and maybe you'll enjoy them. If any of you have ever had an issue you think the school could improve on, or something it could change, I will make your voice heard, and we can work together to get the teachers to listen and take into account what you want. 
I personally haven't planned any improvements or activities so far for the school because it's up to you to tell me what you want to see happen. But you can trust me. Now can I trust you to make the right decision by selecting me as your next head girl? Thank you for listening and please don't forget to vote for me. Okay, so good morning teachers and students at Hollywood School. I am Ronis Rialka and I'm speaking to you today to express my interest in becoming head boy and why I should be considered and voted for. I'm very friendly with a shriek person when needed and I can recognize when there's a problem and I will take it upon myself or any member of staff to help or solve the issue. Furthermore, if I see that there is still room for improvement, I will not stop until perfection is succeeded. I am very hard working, physically and mentally. I want to set my mind to something, I won't stop until it's accomplished. I am also very respectful and kind to all pupils, teachers and others I should be. I can be very versatile in all environments and that doesn't just mean being strict and friendly, but I can make new ideas and plans on the spot. I like the role as it's a prestigious position within the school and I feel that my strengths that I've spoken are key factors for head board. I also have other strengths such as leadership skills, responsibility, commitment, confidence, being well spoken and being representable for the school. I've been at Hollygate for over three years now. I know it might not seem like a long time compared to my competitors, but in that time, I faced many difficult challenges. But I've overcome them with the help from my friends and school. So I think it's my time to repay the school by making it even better than it already is. So please vote for me for head boy. And if I get the role, don't think I'll turn into a tight, restricted object like my shirt. I promise to embrace your ideas as I have close relationships, not only with pupils, but with teachers. And I would like to say we can change the uniform as it hasn't changed since my mother was there in 1978. But we all know that's impossible. But I will succeed and making the school more efficient in work and order and also bring the most out of school and pupils. Thank you for listening and vote for me so maybe I'll get a shirt my size. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Essan and I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. And and why I would like to become your head boy. So I like to play football and I have an interest in cars. I think I would be the right person to lead the school as I will, as I will listen to every one of your questions and I promise all of you, I will try and take action on your points and views on making the school a better place, on making the school a better place. Thank you for listening and if you vote for me, I'll give you a fiver. I started school in year seven after being at a large primary school. Coming from a class of around 35 students to one with seven isn't as difficult as I first imagined, mainly because of the great support that Hollygirt can give every student. And that's what I would do as head girl, be supportive and approachable. Being head girl would mean a lot more to me than you would think, not just because it's a respectable role, but because my mum was a head girl at this school a long, long time ago. So I'm just saying, if I don't get head girl, I will not hear the end of it from my mum, who is a very competitive person, especially with me. When I first joined the school, I didn't think about becoming head girl because I was possibly the most disorganised person ever. But a few years at Hollygirl, I really changed for the better, and I think I could help you do the same. I wouldn't promise to get rid of the green uniform because a lot of people before me making the speech have promised that, and look where we are. Still looking like an elf or a cucumber or whatever. I would not just take my own ideas up with Mrs Hutley, but I'd want your opinions and help. Anytime you'd want to talk to me and I'm open for ideas and suggestions. I see myself as quite a confident person, so I wouldn't be afraid to represent all of you to Mrs Hutley and Mr Dean. Do speeches when necessary and anything else required of me. I'm not a judgmental person, so if you do have any worries or concerns, coming to me would be a safe option because I'm trustworthy. And if I can't help you myself, I would find somebody who could. Even if I don't get the role of head girl, I would, you can still come and talk to me. I won't make any promises on what I could try and change about the school, but I would honestly try and make everyone's wishes heard and thought about. To be honest, most of you know me anyway, and I hope you would think about voting for me, but I want to say good luck to the other candidates because I know whoever you will choose will be amazing. Hello, my name is George McLeod and I'm currently in year 10. I'm here today to talk to you about why you should vote for me to be your new and first head boy. My story started here at the school back when I was in year five when I arrived as the only boy in my class. One thing I'm sure of is that Hollygate has a lot to offer us all, and that's why I've decided to give back to the school by becoming a candidate for head boy. I consider myself to be a good role model who can offer guidance and support to all years. Whilst at the school, I've set up many charity events, such as donating a pound to wear a Christmas jumper, 
and I introduced the Christmas Food Bank scheme, which supports our local families in St. Anne's. I feel school should be the, one of the best times in your life, and I want you to understand by becoming head boy, it's not about me taking my ideas forward, it's about me taking your ideas and helping you enjoy your school life. Please note, if you have a good idea and no one's listening to you, that matters to me. If you are struggling, that matters to me. If you're upset, that matters to me. If you are doing great things in or outside of school, that matters to me. As head boy, I will be there for you. Thank you for listening, George McLeod. Hi, my name is Fahad and I've been at Hollywood for four years. I've thoroughly enjoyed every moment of being here. I would like to be head boy because I have many ideas about how to make the school a better place. One of my ideas is to clean the pond because it would be a nice place to sit at if it were clean. I would also like to get ideas to improve the school, so if I'm not there at form time, I will be outside at break and lunch times, ready to take any suggestions to improve the school, whether that will be to make it a safer place or anything else. I will also be there to talk to you if you ever need me. I was very lucky to be chosen as an anti-bullying ambassador. This role has allowed me to have quick thinking, a good trait for head boy. As some of you know, I have trained in karate for 10 years. This has taught me excellent discipline and patience. I'm very committed to karate as I am to school, and I'm prepared to show just as much commitment into the head boy role as well. As you all know, I helped to sell Domino's pieces during Christmas Fair. This helped me to introduce myself to you and also hopefully showed you that I am a kind and approachable person that is willing to help you whether I get the role or not. I believe I have been at Hollygoat long enough to understand what the head boy role is really about and I hope this speech has influenced you to vote for me as head boy. It would mean a great deal to me to become the first senior school head boy ever. Thank you for your time. Hello everyone. I'm going to be honest, I did struggle writing the speech as I, as I just didn't know the right words, but, but I'm going to go for it and hopefully this will persuade you to vote for me. As you all are probably aware, my name is Safia Smitham. You've probably seen me wearing a green suit and I'm going to tell you why I deserve to be head girl. I'm quite an outgoing fun person and always up for something new and so going for this is right up my alley. I am extremely friendly and approachable as well as a great leader and a reliable caring friend to all. You can come to me anywhere, anytime, any day. If you are too afraid to approach a teacher, I'll always be available to talk, even while in quarantine. I have been at this school since year five, so yes, so six years now, and I have seen how every head girl and head boy approach this role. I know I'm not going to promise anything that will not happen, but I'll do my best and try my hardest to make your suggestions happen. However, I'm going to bring something new to the table. I'm going to bring the funk to funky town, while also making sure everyone stays on top of their work, of course. I worked I talked to a couple of students beforehand. For example, Lanakai proposed we should do it. We should have a meme day. For the teachers who are unaware of what a meme is, it is an image or video that is funny that, and then shared across the internet. Another idea that I got from a student is to have more fun days out. But think, but thanks to Mrs. Howlett, we already go to Cadbury's World and Skegness. But I'm sure we can think of something else. Again, any other ideas that you may have, please do share with me. Here is why I want to be head girl. I've always seen head girls as not in charge of the students, but a role model to them. Someone who you can, who you can go to if you need someone to talk to. That's, why, that's what I aspire to be, a good role model. And people look up to. Get it? Because I'm kind of tall. <laughs> as head girl, you must have an open mind and must be creative. I have both, but I have both of these things. So don't vote for me just there. So don't vote for me just because of my good looks and charming demeanor, although you might be tempted to do that. Vote for me because you have excellent taste and superb decision-making skills. Thank you so much for listening. Thank, vote for me.